written by David Shannon. So you're David. So you was the bad. Wait, hold on. When I read these, I was a kid. I didn't realize that the that was right in the books was it was about him. You're David. You're the problem. <laughs> W Mans, he makes some bangers. Let's watch. The biggest threat to society is probably Lil Caesars. I wouldn't be mad at it. One man allegedly went too far when he was told his Little Caesars pizza was not hot and ready. Pulling an AK 47. He's a monster. He's you pulled out an AK for a Little Caesars pizza? Do you not care about life? Not, he's not a human being, he's a monster. Drug addict, a psychopath, killer, and I hate it so much. I hate it. They said wanted, dead or alive. Overnight, growing national unrest. Boy, what the going on in Miami, bro? They need to stop him. <laughs> I've talked about childhood books in the past video of mine, where I went over. What do you think? And during the making of that video, I purposely left out a book. A book that I also read during my childhood, specifically third grade. And this book couldn't me back then, because the kids' books I read were very simple and sweet picture books that would either have a message David? or show no, how David? good and friendly oh, yeah, we sure. can be to each other. But only in their universe. That can't exist in ours. And unlike any of those, this book didn't display any of that. Instead, it showed something Just else. A bad ass Someone sinister. Yep, David. A person that doesn't kneel to any rules. That book was no, no David. David. The main that character nigga was bad. David, was a force to be reckoned with. In fact, there is no reckoning. He's an unmovable object. The villain of villains. The <laughs> evilest evil. Imagine Homelander. There you go. And you yeah. might be asking me, my guy, he looks six. How is he that bad? And two questions like that is Niggas why must ain't read I the book. people who judge books by its cover. Okay, maybe you can judge that book, but David is a monster. Well, not really, because he's a kid, but it's about what he will become in the future. Yo, and if facts. you don't remember or know the war crimes this kid committed, I'm gonna show you. I've read all eight books of this series. Oh and my God. I only read, I only read... I read No David. I've read Grow Up David and I did David Goes to School. I never read I never read this one. I never read that one. Written by David Shannon. So you're David. So you was the bad wait, hold on. When I read these, I was a kid. I didn't realize that the nigga that was the, that was right in the books was it was about him. You're David. You're the problem. I read three of these. I didn't realize this nigga was the problem. Look, it says, written by David. David. Da he was the problem. It was him. That's why he writing the books. It was probably like his therapy in like in a mental hospital. They probably locked that nigga up. And he wrote these fire ass books about shit he used to do. Made himself a millionaire. Think about it, chat. V facts. R original origin story. Who can tell it better than the person that was actually doing it? Come on, bro. And I will show you all the highlights of him being a clown or jackass. And I will convince you that he is baby Joker. But let's <laughs> not be biased. Let me show you the highlights of him being good first so you can form your own opinion. So here you go. Oh, wait. There are none! <laughs> I'm gonna begin with the OG No David. And he's already starting off his legacy with killing goldfish. Yep. Man, they're the snack that smiles back. Why would you kill them? No, David. You see this story is being seen in his mom's perspective, and it's always her saying, no, David, but just letting him do it. He's reaching for the cookie jar, and you ain't doing nothing. Right. Smack him out the chair. Then he tracked doo-doo in the house, so he has to take a bath. This is the dirtiest bath water I've ever seen. Then he goes running out butt-ass naked. Oh, he did do that, didn't he? That nigga was really a menace. Hold up. Hold up in the street like i said he don't care he don't care about no rules no laws he doesn't care about public indecency that's just another law he can break then he continues to do more nefarious activities but the worst one was definitely him breaking the face with a yeah. baseball bat this man is doing bad in practice in his own home deliberately look at his face look at 
Nigga put on the whole fit. Like he put a, like 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 you got on the whole full fit and he's looking directly at the vase, bro. What he's looking at. He knows what he's doing. Yep. And of course, he breaks the vase and gets a timeout. Like that's going to do anything. Then his doormat of a mom sees him with a little sad face and is like, "Oh, David, come here." Takes him out of timeout and then says, "I love you, David." The end. What? That's it? That's all you're gonna do? He wasn't even punished. She really believed those crocodile tears. Right. He's faking it. He ain't sad because he broke the vase. He's sad, sad that he got he caught and got in yep. trouble. He ain't sorry. This dude intentionally broke the vase with murder on his mind. <laughs> and what the mom does is shrugs it off and hugs him. Crazy. Yes. <laughs> That's the only way his evil behind's gonna learn. But you rewarded him with your love and affection? Crazy. After he broke your great grandma's vase and her crazy. ashes were in there too? It's crazy. crazy, man. I know when David is in high school, he gonna be treating his mom like those memes of when you visit your white friend's house. Then the felon continues. In the next book, David gets in trouble. D does he now? Big he got in trouble last book. Why are we going through this again? Big shock. It's about damn time. We start the book off with this page. I didn't mean to. You're riding a skateboard in your house. You meant what you it. think was gonna happen? Plus, you got that big smile on your face. You meant it. It was an accident. Bruh, this is the first two pages, and I'm already calling the police on him. I couldn't <laughs> deal with this kid. This man belongs in juvie. He ain't normal. And then you have this dude walking to school in his undies. This boy just wants problems. And all the kids are laughing because he's the class clown. David. Just be glad you're in elementary school. Because in elementary, everybody will be laughing with you for wearing your undies to school. While in high school, if you did that, everybody's gonna make fun of you and bully you for being a clown. Yep. Which you deserve! Then we go to class, and he's already starting something. My dog ate my homework! And the side kid's laughing like... <laughs> but the girl ain't having none of David's jokes. She giving him the she side like, eye like... You got the whole this nigga squad lying. laughing. No dog ate his homework. But the thing is, David wasn't lying. Because if you look out the window, the dog is there eating his homework. Unbelievable. That's probably the first time he ever told the truth in his life. Hey, psst. I'm not one to uh gossip, but I heard you wasn't following me on Twitter and Instagram. And you wasn't updated when I wasn't able to post on YouTube and you thought I was gone. So follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's that simple. Enjoy the rest of it. So you know what David does as revenge to the- This is a cra- This nigga is real- He all the way in there. This nigga is digging for the diggiest of boogies, bro. This nigga is digging, digging. Dog eating his homework? Well, a few pages later, this nigga gone eating the dog food in front of the dog. What a mess. Even oh, the worst no. villain wouldn't do something so bad. So despicable. Even the dog looking at him like, why would you do this? And you know what David said? I was hungry. This nigga was munching. <laughs> hungry? Who do you think? No feelings. No respect. No emotions. This boy is not human. He continues to commit acts of terrorism throughout the rest of the book. And by the end of it, his mom confronts him for being a piece of shit. And so David says, I'm sorry. And he's forgiven. That's it. That's all. That's the end of the book. You know, I'm noticing a pattern here. Yep. I'm noticing that no matter what this kid does, he always gets the long end of the stick. He always wins. Not long Even end when the stick he's is wrong, crazy. he wins. He's the greatest supervillain of all time. Yeah. And he's like this in every book. Like, here's him cutting the line. Who do you think he is? Here's him spelling his name with doo doo in the snow. What's wrong with you? And cursing in front of his mom. Kids aren't wait, supposed wait, to. Wait, 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 wait. Doo doo in the snow. What's wrong with you? And cursing. But dad says it. Yo, this nigga is bad. Like, he's like, he's like really bad. This is crazy. And in front of his mom. Kids aren't supposed to be cursing, dumbass. And then he says. Well, dad says it. Well, I might not know your daddy, but I don't think you should be repeating the words he says. And in almost all eight books, he keeps up this behavior with no change. So it ain't even worth going over each book. I'm showing you what he does in each book right now in the screen. He doesn't change. This kid is a criminal, a lawbreaker, a, criminal? a swindler, a rogue good-for-nothing baddie. What? what? And what does he get for it? 
a Merry Christmas. Hell no. Nah. Absolutely outrageous. Got me fucked this up. This kid needs to be apprehended immediately. Nigga said, look at his skin tone. Him Jesus. Get away with this. It will be too much. Low key, I was like David when I was like four through seven. I wouldn't put it past you. I see some of the things you write in the chat. You're still David. Nigga said, I was low key like David. No, you're still like David. Today. Right now. Currently in the chat. Just saying. Late. In conclusion. What in the fuck am I? What am I looking at? David! Oh my Big kick, big flip, blow around and spin! And now turn around to it again! Ninja! No! Oh Ninja! Come on! Oh my god. Nah, W. This <laughs> nigga, I can't with this nigga videos, bro. W the generosity bit. Oh my god. Oh my god.